Star Wars Jedi Survivor is finally here. But do you have all the lore you need before you play? Don't worry, we've got you covered. We're running through all the Star Wars shows, movies, books, and comics you might want to check out before starting Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor both take place during the juicy part of the timeline, before the original trilogy. So much is going on at this time, and space is kind of really going through it. <laughs> Up first is the novel Jedi Battle Scars, written by Sam Max. Now this is a must read before playing Jedi Survivor. It's a direct tying novel featuring our protagonist Cal Kestis set between the first and second game. It's in this novel that we learn how Cal gets his smexy facial scar, as well as why Grease's upper arm is now robotic. I know it's kind of crazy, but the animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars has actually become must watch material for understanding a lot of what's going on in the extended Star Wars verse these days. Jedi Survivor is no exception. In fact, The Clone Wars sets the stage for two of the five Five main worlds Cal visits in Fallen Order. And we already know Night Sister Marion will be featured more heavily in Jedi Survivor, so it's a good idea to get more familiar with her backstory. And at this rate, you never know who else from Clone Wars might show up. The animated series Bad Batch is also really high up on the potential crossover list. The series takes place during the same time frame as the games, and you get to see what Order 66 was like from the perspective of the clones. Scary. <laughs> Our troopers even visit the junkyard planet called Baraka, the same planet that Cal's been hiding out on at the start of Fallen Order. So you'll want to watch this to be ready for any potential tie-ins. Oh, you also might want to add Star Wars Rebels to the list, because it is juicy with characters and lore. Remember Cal's Jedi Master, Jaro T'Pol? Well, you can learn more about his people, the Lasat, and meet the homie Zeb, one of the few Lasat said to survive the devastation of their homeworld. Not to mention, one of the most impactful parts of the series is hearing Obi-Wan's full warning message to the remaining Jedi. But if you're a fan of the dark side, like me, then digesting anything involving Inquisitors is a must. Star Wars Rebels lets you meet other brothers and sisters, like the ones that have been hunting down Cal, and learn more about what it means to be an Inquisitor. If you want more hot Inquisitor action, then you already know I'm gonna have to suggest the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. While the Kenobi series has some mixed reception, I feel like you'd be missing out on some added context about the hunt for Jedi if you didn't check it out. Not only does it introduce some interesting new characters, we do get to see some familiar faces, like this guy, this guy, and that guy. Another live action series you should catch up on before playing is Andor. Set before the events of the film Rogue One, Andor puts the spotlight on the Empire's cruelty and the foundations of the rebellion. With Jedi Survivor taking place just four years before Andor, the crossover potential for pivotal characters and their actions is undeniable. Not to mention, the holocron scattered throughout scenes in Andor could be a subtle hint to a potential tie-in. You know, with Cal spending most of his adventures searching for them. If Cal survives his next encounter with the Empire, things could be shaping up for a live action cameo in upcoming seasons of Andor. As you know, the history of the High Republic and the traditions of the Jedi Order are key to understanding the larger Star Wars universe and a new character in Jedi Survivor. I know a lot of us hate reading, but if you want to know more about this guy and why he's so aggy, you're gonna need to learn more about the High Republic. And the only way to do that is to dive into a few novels and comics from the High Republic multimedia project by Disney Lucasfilm that started in 2020. They're easy reads with beautiful storylines, and you'll have so much added lore going into the later parts of the game. There are tons more from this project to still release, so we could get some really cool tie-ins down the road. Lastly, the weeb in me has got to give out an honorable mention to Star Wars Visions. Although the series isn't confirmed Star Wars canon, the themes and stories told in the animated anthology series Star Wars Visions are it would be really cool if we could see a nod to the ninth Jedi in Jedi Survivor. You can tell there was a lot of passion in making each episode, and there's nothing sweeter than an anime fan recognizing all the iconic studios involved. As you can see, there's so much amazing content to brush up on before playing the game. And if you're a big time Star Wars fan, please let me know what I missed in the comments. <laughs> all right, well, this is Inside Gaming. Make sure you stay tuned here for more gaming news, and may the force be with you. <laughs> I hate this. I have the high ground. Sith, join the Empire. We have cookies.